and welcome to Carrot Town Garage. This is our video review of our 2006 Chrysler Crossfire Convertible, uh, which is 3.2 litre V6 engine. Now, if you don't know the story about the Crossfire, basically, uh, back in the late 90s, Chrysler and Daimler merged together, uh, which was Mercedes and Chrysler, and the SLK, the original SLK, was built under license by Carmen from 1997 through till 2003. And then from 2003, Carmen retooled and built the Crossfire on the same platform right the way through till 2007. Now, the um, people go, oh, yes, it's got a Mercedes engine, etc., etc. No, no, no. The whole car is a Mercedes SLK. The only thing that's different are the body panels and the interior. Everything else, all the parts, completely interchangeable. They drive like a Mercedes, and it's basically a Mercedes. The only key difference is, well, if you look at a Generation 1 Mercedes SLK, they now kind of look very dated, whereas the Crossfire still looks fresh. It still looks a good-looking car. Um, now, I know a few things about Crossfires. Um, I've sold uh, 139 of them over the years. Um, 36 SRTs, which are, are like rocking horse poo or hen, hen's teeth to coin the phrase. Um, this one, I've sold twice before. She's done just 30,000 miles from new. She's a 2006 with 30,000 miles. Now, 2006 in the UK, she is in the higher tax bracket, but I get into arguments with this. I used to get into arguments over people with this because people had waited their whole life to own a Crossfire and they would ring me up and go, oh, I want one, but I want one that's a 2005 because it's cheaper road tax. So basically, they waited their whole life for the car of their dreams and then they want to sacrifice the car that they want for the sake of 200 pounds a year um, because you still have to pay the road tax for the, the 2005 model um, and it's 200 pounds more a year for the 2006 or newer and my philosophy with the Crossfire was always buy the newest one that you can you get a better car but always buy the best one um, so the road tax on these in the UK, yes, it is, it is, it is the higher tax bracket. But again, most people they they're a toy. They take them off for the wind, off the road for the winter, um, and so you're saving your road tax for the sort of four months of doom and gloom. And if we ever come out of a pandemic, <laughs> who knows? Who knows? We could, I could be here, grey and beardy, in another twenty years, still here in a pandemic and a lockdown. Who knows? Um, anyway, I'm going to stop waffling, and we'll kind of have a look around the car. So here we are, the 2006 Chrysler Crossfire convertible. Um, she, the number plate S400 RGW does stay on the car, uh, but she can go back onto the original registration if you wanted. Um, now, starting on the front wing here, as you can see, she is absolutely perfect along there. And the front wheel, no marks or scratches or anything. Absolute perfection. Coming along the driver's side, Again, no marks or scratches or anything. All oh, really lovely. And the rear wheel there. Now they do have 18 inch wheels on the front and 19s on the back. Coming around the rear of the car. Again, no marks or anything. And I mean, look at the shine on the exhaust pipes there. You know, it's been properly looked after this car. Rear spoiler pops up at 60 miles an hour, but you can raise it manually if you wanted to go and pose through town. Now the wheel arches on this car are absolutely perfect as you can see. Now they have an inch lip on the inside of the wheel arch, and what happens is the, the lip packs up with mud and then rots the wheel arch out from the inside and that is a game over because you're talking eight or nine hundred pounds to fix that. You can't just stick a load of bondo as the americans call it in there and fix it it uh, it requires welding and so uh, buying a crossfire with rusty arches is game over um front wheel here again absolutely perfect now coming around the front another top tip uh, creamy headlights now the headlights can be cleaned up but sometimes they do go on the inside but as you can see on this uh, you know given the mileage and the way it's been treated the uh, headlights are crystal clear the uh, bonnet is another feature. I love that bonnet. I absolutely love that um, louvered bonnet. I think it just looks really good. It's just a nice styling feature. Um, I've had a few actually with a chrome grill conversion. They do a mesh grill, which I don't like, but there's one where the, uh, you get uh, chrome pieces that go over the slats of the grill, and they look very good, especially on black crossfires. 
and then we'll come round and have a look inside. So this one's got the two-tone leather interior. Nowhere on the bolster, as you can see. And the seat pad's all lovely. If we come round, you can see there she's done 30,954 miles. Oh, it's four and a half degrees out here. Positively stifling hot. Um, now the controls over here, you've got heated seats, traction control, always best to leave that one switched on. Um, interior alarm if you've got a small dog. Um, oh, and here's an interesting one. On the gear lever, we have W and S. Now everybody goes, oh, sport mode. The amount of these that I used to get delivered where somebody would be driving it, the delivery driver had driven it in W, thinking it was more economical. Basically, W is winter. So if you are struggling on grass or ice or snow, you can put it into W mode and it basically just starts the car off in second gear. That's all it does. And S is for standard. So you would drive it around in S all the time. Passenger door car up there. The steering wheel is perfect as you can see. I mean, look in the uh, door shuts here, look. And then we've got, if I come down here, crossfire on the kick plate. Come round. Driver's door car. I won't bother showing you in the uh, boot because there's not a lot of boot to look at. I'll come around to the passenger side. Um, now she has got um, the original Chrysler Crossfire car mats um, and she has a se set of mats to go over those to protect them. So car mats to protect the car mats. I've got the Chrysler logo embossed in the top of the seat there, you can see that. Passenger seat, I mean, perfect, looks like it's never been sat in. The uh, mark on the seat is just where the folder's been. It's got a folder of uh, history and bits and pieces with it. It does have some service history with this. Most Crossfires, interesting tip, do not have service history. Basically, Chrysler, in their infinite wisdom, decided to put the service book in the back of the handbook. And so unless you know it's there, um, you would never stamp it. So people would take their car to the garage, and of course it would never get stamped. So finding ones that... Um, have actually got uh, service history is quite rare um, as far as stamps go look at the engine bay on this absolutely stunning I mean that looks factory fresh three point two liter chain driven uh, v6 Mercedes and now these cars like I said they're they're bomb proof they really are all the little bits that rust on these, like this little screw that's here, um, are, are absolutely perfect. And as are the bonnet stays. Oh, another top tip, if you have a crossfire and you don't use it very much over the uh, winter months, um, always start it up every few weeks and cycle the um, heating to hot and cold. Because these little solenoids here, oh, that's where are we, here, can... Um, uh, stick and um, they do sometimes come off with a hammer otherwise you have to replace them so always advisable just to pull your crossfire out um, or even your SLK and just cycle the hot and cold air I'll show you under the bonnet here there's another neat trick on these as well um, all Mercedes have this but there's a little button up here and you can press this button and then you can put the bonnet up or the hood up vertically um, to allow you more access to the uh, engine. Great for changing batteries because as you can see the battery tucked away in the back there is a little bit of a tricky location.
and there you have it. That's our video review of our 2006 Chrysler Crossfire convertible. Should you have any more questions, please give me a call. My name is Stuart. Our website is www.carrottowngarage.co.uk. We primarily deal in classic American cars and American cars. Uh, we've got a workshop and various other bits and pieces. Um, please check out our merchandise. We have some cool merchandise. These, uh, funnily enough, the t-shirts, this is Jack Rabbit, um, our brand logo, and uh, the t-shirts are selling like hotcakes. They're going really well. Um, it's, uh, they're, 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 they're 20 pounds for a t-shirt, so it's, um, it's, it's good value and they're very very good uh, very good quality um, anyway we're hoping we're going to get out of this pandemic and go and do some car shows later this year which will be quite cool uh, but anyway follow us on instagram follow us on facebook follow us on youtube check out some of our other videos because we've got lots of fun stuff going on and uh, look forward to speaking to you soon thanks very much for watching and have a great day thank you bye bye